What you got today, big dog? All right, today's back day. Big back day. Been hitting it twice a week since the last show, about five, six weeks ago. My back is my weak point, and you know, anyone who's a real competitor knows that backs are, shows are one from the back. So, definitely putting all my emphasis and all my focus on building my back up. More detail, more thickness, more width, just more overall development from top to bottom. So, you guys will see that today. I can't wait to show everyone, so let's get it. Bro, I'm Andy. Nice to meet you, bro. You come here all the time? Yeah, yeah, I got an iron. I have a, I remember shit back to you. Uh, well, I okay. like doing stuff, but. Oh, bro, same here. Oh, yeah, you like, you mix stuff like your gyms. I go to Planet Fitness to 10, cardio, yeah. occasionally train, but you know, they don't have that much equipment. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I heard a little back there. there. Yeah, yeah. Back there. Um, I go to Fort a lot. It's always uh, Yeah, Fort's always heavy. And then here, they um, don't let, they don't let 17 years in there yet. So. Oh, no. <laughs> I usually come here to get my content though, because like the equipment's pretty sick yeah. and it's usually empty in here, but I didn't want to think it's alive. Yeah, but it's all good. We're still gonna get this lift in. For sure, though. Nice to meet you. The gym is a little bit busy because it's the 4th of July, but we're still gonna get the lift in. We're still gonna put in the work. So today, what we're gonna start with is a T bar row plate loaded here. And we're grabbing real narrow, we're trying to hit that mid back. With this, all you really wanna focus on is minimizing knee drive and momentum so pretty much you want to get into your sweet spot find it and once you're there just drive those elbows back okay pull the weight drive the elbows back feel it right where you need to so first exercise here two working sets it's time to go ham let's go exercise post grip lap pull down um, primarily because everything's kind of taken right now so we got to work with what we got but this post grip lap pull down what you want to focus on is like I said finding that sweet spot you know you don't want to lean back and pull too far you know so you want to just keep that torso locked in keep that core tight let the lats stretch all the way don't want to let it just drop all the way because then you lose you lose your lat when you come all the way up. So you wanna get that squeeze, lock in those lats, stretch up as far as you can to where the lat is still fully contracted. Once you hit right about here, right back down and you'll see right here. Right now. My boy said, ready his physique right now. He's going to USA at the end of, at the end of July. <laughs> that will be a USA's in July. 
on stage, grabbing a pro card. And classic. And classic. And classic. Show him, your, sh show him the front, bro. Show him the front. Come on, now. He said he's taking, he taking everybody's card. He's taking everybody's card. Show him the side. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's money in the bag. Appreciate it. That's money in the bag. He, he finna peel down. He finna peel down for y'all. In here. He, Mid workout. Mid workout. Flat. So, and he's flat. Give it to him. Okay. What you all right now? Uh, moderate carbs. Low. Very low. Very low. Yeah. Basically pushing the condition. Oh yeah, for sure. You definitely die. Yeah, sure. I feel fucking good though. Like usually, you know, like this close your energy levels are super low. Super dumb. But I'm like rebounding still, so I feel fucking good. Right? Hey, bro, I don't even know the last time I felt like shit in the prep. Yeah. I mean, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. I mean, there, there'll be times, obviously, where you're gonna feel tired. When, you, when you're doing, and bro, I, I haven't even felt, I haven't felt tired. Mm -hmm. I haven't felt none of that. Cause bro, like my thing is I've grown into every single show that I've done. So now that we're on a more on a maintenance thing, it's just more moderate cards. So bro, yeah. like for Arnold Boston, Bro, we're on down there almost high carbs the whole every whole day. Time, yeah. Every day. And they're like, bro, you're not on low carb? No. My butt is just where you find that, that sweet spot, that metabolism start hitting. Mm -hmm. Can't do nothing but but let the body do what it do. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people like to force, oh, we gotta pull, we gotta pull. No, let your body you just do just what it do. Yourself into a deeper hole. Bro, and that's why they, like when they go and, and this is another thing like a lot of people fuck up on. They eat these carbs, they eat what they normally eat during prep. And then, then the day of, or the day, the night fries. of, fries. No, they you carb what up. you eat. Yeah. What you've been eating. Bro, yeah. we do steak and fries every night. We do it we do the night before and then after pre judging steak and fries. Yeah. But that's what we do. We do potatoes and we, we, we mix shit in to the, to the point where it's still normal for the body. But people just go jack off and just do X, Y, and B. Pancakes. Yeah, reinvent the wheel. Yeah, bro, it don't work. Hell no. That's so old. That's old it is. It is. Yeah. It's this new era of, of the scientific part of the body, bro. It's that that people never tap into. Yeah. But now they see, and now everybody want to jump. Now they know what works. Yep. So it's time to finish off back with some rear delts. We just started a new split. We want to have a full arm day. We we're always doing back and triceps, chest and biceps, vice versa. So now we have a chest and shoulder day, but we hit rear delts on our back day. So we're finishing off with some dumbbell reverse flies. Pretty much here you want to bend over, stay in a good spot, and just drive. Almost like you're doing a reverse peg fly or you're doing a side raise but your chest is parallel to the ground so here we go <sighs> Go. 
pop out that shoulder right here. Really fill out and round out that shoulder. Don't forget to hit the rear delts. Extremely important. All right, guys, that is a wrap for back day. Hell of a good workout. Coming up on three and a half weeks out, wow. It's just flying by, man. Um, it makes it a lot easier with stuff like this to do and look forward to. And I love putting out these YouTube videos and all this content for you guys to follow along. The subscriber increase has been insane. The views on my videos have been really, really good. I've been receiving good, positive feedback. And that's just awesome, man. So really appreciate it. You know, if you guys have any opinions, you know, any ideas, whatever it may be, please put it in the comments below. I love all the feedback, you know, positive or negative. Eventually, all it's gonna do is help me get better, help me bring you better content. So, I appreciate all of this. So, shout out to eBanks, number one in the world, about to be this year. New York Pro Champ, Arnold Classic Champ, Boston Pro Champ. Shout out to my man eBanks, representing Fresno, representing the 559. And shout out to everyone who, you know, came up to me in the gym today. Like I said, it's the 4th of July, so it was actually very busy today. I didn't even think about that. But overall, I had a damn good workout, and uh, we will be back in a few days, and I got some really, really special planned. And leading up to the show, we got a lot of plans. Me and the man behind the camera, Ryan. Shout out to him. We got a lot planned for you guys, so stay tuned, follow the journey, share with your friends. And let's keep this thing going. All right, we'll see you next time.